Yeah. About to get the Popeye sandwich after at least like four months of waiting, we're finally gonna get it. Guys, we've been waiting here for a long time <laughs> just to get this Popeye chicken sandwich, so let's uh, try it. Hey guys, what's up? It's me, and I'm here with Aiden at Aiden's home, and today we're filming another food review! Since my channel is a food review channel now, mm -hmm. I thought, you know, me and Aiden could get together and just make an epic food review since we can combine both of our epic talents. Today we got the Popeye's Epic Chicken Sandwich. And the Sprite Cranberry Winter Spice. And Sprite Cranberry. These are the two Sorry. rarest foods on the planet Earth. And we got them both in one video. Yeah. And I definitely didn't steal this joke. It's... That's like the... That's like the diamond and the emerald. It's basically like the diamond and emerald of Minecraft IRL. So as you can see, I am unboxing this epic chicken sandwich. Oh, Aiden, oh, wow. look at this beautiful. Okay, but first impressions before you um before you bite into it. My this. first impressions are it looks pretty greasy, honestly. Like well, like the chicken doesn't even look that greasy, but it's more the bun. Is it just me or does something smell like peanut butter? I I guess I can smell the the oil like I guess it's like a peanut based oil. So I've got pickle. That's a lot of pickles, Th man. They put a lot of pickles they on. They put it a lot of pickles. pickles on mine. I got mine plain personally. Um, That's the beta move. I just don't like pickles. I don't mess with okay. pickles. Putting vegetables and chicken together, I don't go. Okay, let's. Take our first bite. In. Well, I got a big kind of like chunk of chicken here before I get to the Ooh. bread. So. No, but no, you got to find an area with like the bread and chicken. Okay. I'll hey, show the to, camera. Show the camera, man. I'll try to form form myself a little. Like, see, one side's got all the pickle and one side's got Ooh. all the chicken. So I'm going to have to reconstruct it yeah, a little Yeah, reconstruct bit. it a little so I can take a bite out of my gooey gooey. All right. We're going to get all of the goodness in one epic bite. bite. All, right, all right. Let's Let's try this. Three, two, one. Hmm. 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 Okay. Okay, put it down. One. So. Sprite mm. Yeah. Let's we'll take a sip of the sprites. Mm. So. Hmm. You know, you might be surprised with how I feel about this, so. I might. So, I'll let you tell the camera. What you thought first. Here's what I thought. I bit into it, and I was just overwhelmed with a lot of meat. <laughs> and Wait, wait, wait. You were overwhelmed with meat? I was, because... There was a lot of meat? Well, as you can see, I got a big bite of chicken, and it was a big, large bite of chicken. It was a big bite of chicken, that's all I can say. Mm-hmm. And I feel like I could taste mostly the breading mm. and all the, the crunchiness versus the juiciness. Yeah. However, I'm not sure if I got a lot of pickle in that bite. Mm -hmm. But there are a lot of pickles in the sandwich, so I guess I just didn't get the sandwich with the uh, the sandwich bite with the pickle. So personally, I think this is very... Personally, yours looks like a lot greasier and like bigger. I'd say this is aesthetically a very pleasing chicken sandwich. It very much is. Okay, we're gonna obviously have to compare this to the Chick-fil-A chicken sandwich. That is true. Now, while I don't think it's 100% better than Chick-fil-A's sandwich, I, I do think it hmm. comes up close. It's definitely second. It's definitely to better any. than like the Mick Chicken. It's yeah, Mick Chicken is like okay. But what about Zach? What about Zaxby's? Zaxby's? Would you say this chicken's good. better than Zaxby's? Like if you I got would a Zaxby's say it's chicken. better than Zaxby's. Yeah. Hmm. So I feel I like say that. I would say it's better than Zaxby's too. But would I say this lives up to the hype? I don't think so. I don't believe. But maybe if I get a pickle bite. Hold on, let's take another bite. Mm. Okay. Okay. Mm. So compared to Chick Fil A, I say this one's more crunchy. So if you're more into like a crunchy chicken, mm -hmm. then I definitely go with this one. But like, this one's. Let's just say if you're into more meat. Okay, but yeah, like, yeah, if you're into more meat, because like, yeah, this one it's very thick. 
Chick Fil A is sort of a thinner patty, like but a little thinner chicken that patty. One, but this sandwich right here has a like a lot of crunchy breading. Oh yeah, Aiden like, has a lot right of breading. Mine's more thick meat. I guess it's sort of like a fifty-fifty. You don't really know. It's sort of mm -hmm. a surprise. So um. But you just have chicken. You don't have pickles. Yeah, I don't have pickles. Uh, maybe it could be better with some mayo on it. Um, I don't know, but it, it, I mean, to be honest, by itself, it is a very pleasing chicken sandwich. Uh, I am yeah. most pleased with it. I'm going to take another bite. All right. Look into the camera while you chew, man. So, I'll say this. You know, you're eating at Chick-fil-A. You can't really just, you know, be satisfied with one sandwich. You kind of got to, like, you really want to. You might not get to all the time, but you're really going to want to. Now, with this, you only want one. I'm not really sure if I would want a second one. Yeah, 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 man. So when I go to Chick-fil-A, like, it's like one sandwich isn't enough to fill me up. But, the, and like, I get some fries and a sandwich, and I'm like... But it's just a good but, combo. Yeah, but, like, but then, like, you know, I want another sandwich. So I'll go up and I'll pay the money and get another sandwich. But then, that's too much. And I can't eat it all. So I'll end up wasting mm -hmm. a big portion of that, that is sandwich. That I'll just, you only need a little more. But I feel like this sandwich... It gives you just about it gives enough you, you It need. gives you just enough, enough you need. Like, I, this was, like, three bucks... It was about three bucks, yeah. I'd say it's definitely worth it for the money. It's like a dollar cheaper than a Chick-fil-A sandwich. No, I'll say this. Mm. We had the biscuit earlier, and for only 79 cents, that was a really good biscuit. It was. Mmm. Mmm. Oh, my goodness. Aiden. Aiden, my boy. It was the best biscuit I have ever had. Oh, about the biscuit. It really was a good biscuit, wasn't it? It really was. Now, let's finish these sandwiches up. All right. Wait, let's, let's get a little sip of striped cranberry, man. Oh. Mm. Um, mm. Alright. I've been sipping on striped cranberry. Mm -hmm. mm. You know, you haven't done a review of striped cranberry. What do you think of it, man? So, striped cranberry. Yeah. I've had. This is my third can I've had of striped cranberry. Mm. I had one today. I had one, like, on a Saturday. And. I'm having this one right now. And at first I didn't really like it, but it's beginning to grow on me. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, yeah. I, ver I failed to mention this in my review, mm. but it really is an acquired taste. It is. Because personally, this is my 15th can. You know what? I want to just get this little bit of pickle here. Because mm. I love pickles. Because personally, this is my 15th can. Mm-hmm. In the past week. I've had more than that, but I can't keep counting mm. all of them. Now, that is a really good pickle. Okay. And I love pickles, so I can I can really, you know, testify to that. It's a good pickle. So, Sprite Cranberry, like, with my first, like, 20 or so cans, I didn't really like it. But after, like, my 35th, or like 34th can, mm -hmm. I really started to just enjoy them. And now it's like the only thing I drink. I actually had the plumber hook up pipes to just this big Sprite oh, Cranberry yeah. fill. And so now all I drink is Sprite Cranberry. You know, one other thing I'll say about getting the sandwich, it was service with a smile. The cashier lady there, mm -hmm. she was really nice. She was like, Oh, it's my it's my first day back on the job, so you know I'm kind of just getting used she to. She was this out of it. Yeah, she was kind of out of it, and so that's why she spelled my name with a B instead of a D. And she spelled my name instead of Logan as Long. She spelled him as Long, and then the lady that gave us the food was like, "Hey, yep. Long, hey, Long, you know this sandwich is starting to grow on me more and more. It's I a, think it it's is a very on. big sandwich. Like honestly, there's a lot of meat here." I know what you were saying. You were overwhelmed by all the meat. Well, and sometimes I'm overwhelmed by the meat, too. Like, when I have a couple big meats just all around me. Mm-hmm. Why are you laughing, man? <laughs> anyway, when I just have a lot of big meat around me, I get overwhelmed. <laughs> what, Aiden? I get overwhelmed, too. Mm-hmm. 
And so, but this, I feel like it comes in such a compact form, it's not really overwhelming. It's like juicy and big, but not too much that you can't mm. handle. Mmm. Mm. Mm. I got an idea. I want to see if I can do an entire Sprite Cranberry Chug from what's left of this. Which is about a little over half the can. Mm. Do it. Alright, I'm going to do it. <sighs> you know what? That was actually pretty good. I'm finishing up my sandwich. Thank you. <laughs> and overall, I my biggest complaint would be really the bun. Mm. This is kind of a thin bun. It's a very thin, greasy Sometimes bun. Sometimes you want, like with a like with a thick chicken, you might want a thicker a thick bun. bun. Some people might think it's just like too many carbs going in at once. Mm -hmm. But like personally, I'd say like need more to hold it. Like, when I have my meat, I want something to hold it, you know? <laughs> what? I want something to hold no, I was just, my meat. I was just thinking about a joke. Oh. Well, I want something to hold my meat better. And I just really... This just doesn't hold it too well. It's also very greasy. Have you ever had the Wendy's pretzel burger? I don't believe I have. It tastes like the Wendy's pretzel burger bun. And when I first saw it, I thought the same thing. It feels and tastes like, excuse me, the pretzel burger. And let me just tell you something. I don't like the pretzel burger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know what? Pretzel is really just meant to be eaten as a snack. It's not really meant to go on your meal. It really isn't. Like, Little Caesars had uh, pretzel pizza crust. Mm. That was just bad. So, Aiden, between 1 out of 10, what would you give this sandwich? Mm. I'd really give it an A. Mm. Mm-hmm. Mm. Because this really got this A. Between 1 and 10, I'd give it about uh, an 8. An 8? By 8, I mean A. And A. There we go. Alright, guys. This will be the end of Logan and Aiden's epic food review. We will see you in the next epic video. Goodbye. Subscribe Aiden. to Aiden DC. And subscribe to me and like this epic video, Epic Lay. If you're epic, like, like Epic Lay. Goodbye. Hmm. That's a pretty good burger. That's chicken.